I don't believe that the world is evil. I know with certainty that there is evil in the world. And that's why I personally have adopted the armed livestock. But two nights ago, that evil struck very close to home. Uh, it happened in a particular apartment complex that I know well. Uh, it is uh, a, a, a refuge for refugees in, in my city. And I've worked with that refugee community for a while uh, when I first got here. I no longer uh, do that. I just don't have the time. But um, two nights ago, uh, a guy who, one, is not a refugee, and two, does not live in this city or state, was uh, uh, living with a woman who was a resident at that place. And um, for reasons still unknown, uh, we can surmise that he was a violent guy. And uh, she asked him to leave. And then the day after that, uh, what he did was take a knife, go looking for her. She was not around. And he went to a children's birthday party that was taking place uh, in, in the complex and proceeded to uh, kill several people, injured nine, uh, including a three-year-old baby because he was mad. Uh, now, I've seen a picture of this person. Uh, there would be no doubt in anyone's mind that evil lived inside of him. Uh, he had an extensive violent criminal record. Why this woman decided to let him stay with her is unknown. Uh, but the fact that she, she wasn't there, he went to kill her, could not find her, and proceeded to uh, go after the children who were totally innocent as children are. Now, um, a knife attack is silent unless a victim can escape and raise the alarm. Three people tried to stop him and they were one of the nine injured. I uh, don't know if any of them were among the dead, but um, the police were called and they came and they found the guy and, and he's still alive, unfortunately. And uh, we'll find out more as it, the, the case unfolds. But my point is that in a city and in the town and city I live in, uh, uh, the, it, it prides itself on being uh, quote a safe place as all cities try to do for most. My point here is that evil will find you and none of the people in this particular place could have been armed with a firearm because they are prohibited people because of their lack of citizenship, permanent residency status. The guy who did the deed was a felon, and he might have decided to get an illegal firearm, but didn't. But he did have a blade. Of what size, I don't know, but it was enough to do substantial damage. Now, uh, I have seen multiple attacks with knives on people. I've seen people kill with knives. And it is not like in the movies. It's worse. And it's just worse. And then to have such violence taken out on innocent children just trying to celebrate a birthday party, it just boggles my mind. Um, I don't want to ramble. I, I just want to say that um, these things can happen and they can happen anywhere, at any time. Um, to the degree that you can be aware and prepared. And it sucks to say 
that even when there's a celebration, a party, wedding, funeral, where people gather, women, you know, I mean, if, a, if any, any whiff, any whiff of violence or threat of violence from a guy who you happen to be with and you are not armed and, in, and intend to defend yourself with that kind of violence yourself, man, if you live in a place where you're able, then just go do it. Uh, you know, and but so uh, that's all I can say about this. It can happen. It can happen close. Uh, a knife thing, as I said before, you don't even know what's happening. It's not like you hear gunshots. It's not like you hear people screaming, right? Unless it's outdoors. And usually in the summertime, if people are screaming and it's outdoors, unless they're, you know, you can hear the, the words, it sounds like people are having fun because it's outdoors and the sun is out. You know what I'm saying? If your loved ones are close, keep them closer and be prepared to defend them against the evil that may find you or them or other innocents that are close to you. So, thanks for watching. Carry on.